Another way to make this clearer, we say we have the total population in South Africa. So this is from our McConnell textbook. This one is from the Parkin textbook. We have the entire population in South Africa of 49 million. Of that, 32 million are of the working age population. Of that, only 17 million are economically active. And of that, only 13 million are actually employed. Those are some pretty incredible numbers. Uh, and now I have another video of Chris telling us about unemployment. Unemployment is determined by the amount of real output in an economy. Unemployment will decrease when the amount of real output is increasing, as we've seen through our business cycle model, but unemployment will increase through stages of recession. We can look at that in terms of potential GDP, i.e. the GDP that you would have at full employment, and the actual GDP that you're occurring. So if we look at GDP versus time, real GDP versus time, and we, have, we can say that that is our level of potential GDP, So that's what our GDP should be if we were at full employment and employing everyone using all our resources effectively. But if our actual GDP looked like this, if our actual GDP did that, we would see that in periods such as this, when the actual GDP is greater than your potential GDP, and in such as that, you will have cases of unemployment decreasing. You're employing even more people than you would have at the full employment level. And in periods such as that, when your actual GDP is below your real GDP, you're going to have a case of unemployment increasing. So if we to look at that in terms of an unemployment graph, Unemployment here would be decreasing because actual GDP is below, actual GDP is above potential GDP here, so it would be decreasing, then it would increase, and it would decrease further. Okay. Thanks, Chris. So that brings us to the end of the section on. Unemployment, we'll come back with a new video on inflation.